In this video, we will learn about the functional vascular anatomy of superior cerebellar artery. We present a case of 31-year-old male who presented with subarachnoid hemorrhage due to ruptured right superior cerebellar artery aneurysm. And this aneurysm is involving the lateral segment of right superior cerebellar artery. It appears to be a dissecting aneurysm. So this aneurysm is secular fusiform in shape and is involving the peripheral portion of the right superior cerebellar artery. Also, at the junction of proximal healthy segment and the distal aneurysmal segment, there is a focal area of narrowing. This narrowing may represent the entry point of the intimal dissection. So, we considered that parent vessel occlusion would be a safer option in this patient. So, we plan to occlude this aneurysmal segment to bring the coil proximally up to this dilated segment so that the perforators from the proximal superior cerebral artery are uncompromised and we believe that the cortical branches of right superior cerebral artery will be reformated by the pica superior cerebral artery cortical anastomosis. This is the final angiogram. Here we could see total occlusion of the aneurysm with patent proximal segment of right superior cerebellar artery and distal reformation of cortical branches. So this is the right pica and these are the hemispheric branches of right pica which are reforming the cortical branches of right superior cerebellar artery. CT scan was performed next day. It has shown large infarct involving right cerebellar hemisphere. Infarct is quite extensive on MRI. The infarct is involving the superior vermis, tentorial surface of right cerebellar hemisphere and is also involving the anterior inferior and posterior inferior surface of right cerebellar hemisphere. So this infarct is involving the right side ica and pica territory. The infarct is also involving the lateral aspect of midbrain and upper part of pons. This is the 3D rotational angiogram of the same patient. The right superior cerebellar artery has dominant cortical supply whereas the hemispheric branches of right pica is less dominant. So this right cerebellar hemisphere is predominantly supplied by the cortical branches of right superior cerebellar artery unsupported by the hemispheric branches of ica and the pica. And this could be the reason that why this patient has suffered major stroke involving the right cerebellar hemisphere. So we take this as an occasion to understand the functional vascular anatomy of superior cerebellar artery. In this cadaveric specimen of posterior cranial fossa, here we could see this is the basilar trunk dividing into posterior cerebral artery and this is the superior cerebellar artery which traverses below the course of oculomotor nerve. It encircles the brain stem at ponto mesencephalic junction and it dips down close to the course of trigeminal nerve. Here it divides into the two major trunk, the cranial and the caudal division. The cranial trunk predominantly supply the superior vermis and give rise to perforator to inferior colliculus of midbrain. The caudal trunk predominantly supply the tentorial surface of cerebellar hemisphere, while the cranial trunk supply the superior vermis. This is the specimen of cerebellar hemisphere seen from the posterior aspect, and here we could see various branches of superior cerebellar artery. The area marked in pink color is supplied by the cranial division of superior cerebellar artery. These are the superior vermian branches and the area marked in the purple color is supplied by the caudal division of superior cerebellar artery. So these are the cortical branches of superior cerebellar artery supplying the tentorial surface as well as the suboccipital surface of cerebellar hemisphere. In this specimen, the territory supplied by the superior cerebellar artery is marked. This is the superior vermis and it is supplied by the cranial trunk of the superior cerebellar artery and this is the tentorial surface of the cerebellar hemisphere supplied by the caudal division of superior cerebellar artery. This section at the level of mid pons, here again we could see the territory supplied by the superior cerebellar artery. Superior cerebellar artery also give rise to perforator to brainstem tegmentum and midbrain tectum. The perforators arise from the main trunk as well as its division. In this sketch diagram of tectal region, we could see this is superior colliculus, this is inferior colliculus. The inferior colliculus is predominantly supplied by the perforators arising from the medial trunk of the superior cerebellar artery. In this section of midbrain at the level of inferior colliculus, 
we could see the perforated territory of superior cerebellar artery supplying the inferior colliculus marked in red color this section passing through the upper part of pons it displays the perforated territory of superior cerebellar artery supplying the lateral aspect of upper pons and superior cerebellar peduncle so in this video we have understood the functional vascular anatomy of superior cerebellar artery also we have understood the risk of treatment of uh, peripheral aneurysms of superior cerebellar artery by parent vessel occlusion it may have a uh, grave consequences especially if the territory supplied by superior cerebellar artery is extensive unsupported by the ipsilateral pica or ica territory